in here. Made it to the petrol over here. Finally got permission to come up here. I didn't didn't know if the place and stuff was still good because I haven't heard anything back yet. So everything's everything's fine. We're just getting in here. We're getting 120 day inspection, and then we're gonna grab our oil change. We're gonna get that done real quick. And I got them checking the front brake. I just didn't like the way it was looking. Um, it's in on the bottom, but the top is in a little bit, but the other one's out, like kicked out, like this. So I'm just trying to wonder if that might be why it hops every time you put the brakes on or pulls to the right. So that's what we're doing. And then after, we're gonna go across here, we're gonna check out the land side terminal. That's it, we got I can't turn, I don't know why I can't turn this camera around. Oh, whoa, turn that off. Now, we gotta see what's wrong with that, because to me it's kind of weird. See, it's not sounding good. It sounds like it's clinking on that side. He just had me go out there. He said the brakes look all right, but just rather be safe than sorry. So, so anyway, so that's what we got going on. We got that, and I'm gonna do an oil change. Um, get that done now. So we figured I'd get the oil change done 120 day on both. Because um, the trailer is due at the end of the month. Why not just get it done now? That way, you know, we kill two birds with well, actually We're killing three birds with one stone. We'll get the oil change done. And then after that, we can, um, like I said, might go over and check out the last uh, terminal. But I'm probably going to go park at the Flying J because I got showered at the Flying J. And I didn't get a shower today, so I'm probably go over there and do that first and then go over to the terminal. What's your mileage? The miles are 242-658. I've got to wait for approval, but I'm going to be doing an oil change to, on the tractor. Well, come here. Come say hi. Come here. Come here. Come, here. come get up here and say hi. All right, fine. Don't say hi. He's going bye-bye now. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. See? You missed him. See? That was over there. You missed him. Max, he really thinks he needs to say hi to everybody. Hey, come here. Come here. Say hi, hey, YouTubers. Hi, YouTubers. Hi, YouTubers. Yeah, so that's what we got going on. We're not really doing too much today. Like I said, we're just going to get ourselves. Uh... Imagine if they found that air, air leak yet. Actually, hold on. Let me go tell them about that air leak. I'll be right back. Okay, on that situation there, what I had was I had a knock on my door. And uh, I had another driver say, hey, there was a guy underneath your trail. And I scared him away. And I was like, what do you mean? So I looked at it, and, you know, my tires were fine. But as soon as I released my brakes and got it all filled up and set them again, you could hear an ear leak. So I got him checking it to make sure that, you know, they didn't cut an air line or punctured an airbag or something. You know, well, it's just something, you know, you, you never know. You never know what, you know, somebody was just mad and, not having a good day, or maybe they were sleeping underneath there. You know, maybe they just wanted to get out from underneath the rain. I don't know. I'm not saying that they were doing anything. I'm just saying. So, that's what we're doing. Get this done. It feels good, though, to have my truck back, man. It feels real good. Let's see. Ready? I got to use my table this morning. That was awesome. I'm going to have supper back there tonight. That's going to be real cool. Got my microwave I can use now. Got my hot plate. Which I couldn't get to Walmart. Because I didn't want to risk bobtailing over there if, if the plates and stuff weren't good on the truck. So like I said earlier, I didn't know. And I called permits and everything. They said the insurance looks like it's, it's still on there. So it should be on here. So, But... 
ever since my accident, I, I'm just taking everything. I'm taking everything slow. I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about. You know, I'll get to a Walmart when I get it. Maxie's still got food. I still got a couple things left. So I'm not gonna um, rush just to get somewhere. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to get there. But I'm, I think when it comes to turning, I think I'm gonna give it an extra. If there's nobody behind me, I want to give it an extra few seconds. Because, like I said, I don't, I don't even turn on a flashing yellow light, um, and I don't turn right on red. So, so that's just one of my things. So, you know that, you know, ever since the accident and stuff, I just, I don't know. I just, I just, I'm just gonna take it a little bit more cautious, relax a little bit. So anyway, so we 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 able to get to bed last night. I don't know what they did this poor guy struck, but they got a, a hammer and they beat the hell out of it. Damn. But anyway, so um, we were up for thirty nine hours yesterday. Um, we got up because we had to deliver our load. We got up at four thirty. Um, we delivered that in Georgia, and then we went from there up to um, Jefferson. Paid uh, 1400 on the um, on the part that wasn't under the insurance. Of course, $1,000 deductible and the $400 for stuff on the APU. And then we drove all the way up to Charlotte to swap, you know, to get them back to the truck and me get the rental car. You gotta hit it with your part. So, <laughs> so come on, hurry up. So after we did that, got everything done, took the stickers off, yada, yada, yada. This is the part that gets me because I took the dang stickers off, okay? So I get all the way down, back down to Jefferson, 200 miles. I get to the truck, get back in there, take the stuff out that is, that's in the rental car that I brought with me. And... Um, <sighs> So then I go in and get into the truck and I'm taking care of stuff. And I was like, well, let me, you know, I'm taking care of my clothes and stuff like that. And I was like, wait a minute, there's something missing. Yeah, I forgot all my shirts, all my GoPro stuff, the plate to the damn truck. If I took the stickers off, why didn't I remember to take the plates, huh? Durr. But yeah, so that's what that is. So yeah, so I ended up having to, now I drove up to Charlotte with the truck. Drove back down to Jefferson with the rental car. Drove back up to Charlotte and then back down. By the time I got everything over and done with, and got back down to Jefferson, it was 6.30 in the morning. And it was stupid to even drive. I knew it was, I knew I, I was tired, I should have pulled over. And I, I almost fell asleep a couple times because I, I needed to get down there, but I won't do that again either. Holy man, was I tired. Yesterday, man, I was so tired, I didn't want to do anything. So, but I had to wait because I had to get paperwork done and get this done, and then I waited for the TA, and yeah, this video is going out today. So, anybody who goes to Commerce, Georgia, exit 149, the TA cannot do a Landstar inspection because the person who does it he got injured, and he is not going to be there for two weeks. So go to the Petro. That's that. Be the, you know, quickest thing to do would be to come up here real quick. It's only 11 miles up, so get up here, get that done, and that way you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, two weeks before he comes back to work, so. So that's about it. You know, like I said... Okay, I'm going to update some more. I'm going to try to do some more videos like this. Um, I figured out how to do it. Like I was saying, though, the TA is TA's right across the street. I mean, Landstar Terminal, but, man, this looks like a Landstar drop yard in here, boy. There's more Landstars in here than anything else. I come in there with white Volvo. I just seen the, you know, the top of that. You see the bottom, and I was like, 
I was on the phone with my wife, and I was like, oh, Triple T's here, Triple T's here. And I pulled in, and it wasn't. I was like, darn it. It would have been pretty cool. But anyway, so I'm going to end this now, put it together, and we will um, do another video on um, SFI on getting the other truck and then um, what to do and what not to do when you got a truck from SFI. All right. Well, I thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. And we will be trying to do more out as soon as we get done. I mean, as soon as I get this done, if anything comes up, I'm sure I can, uh, yeah, I'll make a video and let you guys know. All righty. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. In the business, not because they want to do it, just because they heard it pays. And who the fuck wants to be poor knowing that's how we've been raised?